I am so happy to be joined today on Primetime Local News, all the way from Mundare. Kyler Zeleny is here today. Kyler, thanks so much for speaking with us. Yeah, happy to be here. Uh, good morning. Well, let's talk about this program that Stenichis has. And everybody who goes to uh, Edmonton or, you know, comes back to Lloyd, you see the sign, stop and get the sausage all of the time. And you guys are giving back. Tell me about how you're going to be helping out people in the Ukrainian community. Yeah, so, you know, we, uh, you know, Stenichis Monday Sausage, the name, you know, hard to say. Um, it's a Ukrainian, you know, product. It's, it's, it's so well known in, in our, our our little region of uh, Central East Alberta and, and the rest of the province. Um, so, you know, I, most of uh, the folks listening may or may not know that, you know, we're re Ukrainian. So this is a conflict um, that is really dear to us. So as soon as it began, we started to do a number of initiatives. Uh, we've done uh, you know, the initial thing we did was $10,000 donation to Canada Ukraine Foundation. We've done a few things in our restaurant in Edmonton, um, and we want to keep that going. So recently what we did is we decided to kind of launch a program where any group that is working with Ukrainian refugees or is helping the cause, helping these displaced individuals, um, they can apply to this program for uh, a grant of $5,000. And all they need to do is tell us what they've done in the past, what they plan to do with the money, how it can kind of help people that really do need it. Is there any limitations on how the money can be used for their cause? Or is it basically if if you approve it, uh, it can be used uh, for, for anything within what they're actually helping out with? Yeah, we don't really... Um we don't we don't really have any limitations or boundaries as to what can be done with the money um you know specifically it's it's targeting groups that are working you know, in alberta that um are maybe helping out in ukraine or in the province of alberta itself there's there's so many initiatives so many groups that could use the funds and we wanted to kind of stamp our name onto something we wanted someone to kind of come to us from this community and say we want to do this project or we're, we're continuing to do this project, but we need funds to do it. And that's where we as a community member in, you know, the Ukrainian diaspora wanted to say, perfect, we would love to help, you know, let's make you a big check, you take the money and you do that good. So will there just be one organization that will be awarded the $5,000 or will you split it up or how is that going to work? We're asking um, groups to kind of you know, make proposals, a one to two page proposal, all the information can be found on our website. Um, so we want them to make a proposal that is kind of using the, the $5,000. If we see a, a number of initiatives that we think can function with less, then, you know, we would probably look to, to break up the cash. But um, we do want to make kind of a larger donation to one single entity. Um, and, you know, $5,000 uh, seems like a fair bit. But, you know, nowadays, it's it's almost pocket change in some sense, right? So uh, we're kind of imagining that a number of groups will kind of use that 5,000. And, you know, if, if the program goes well, if we get a good number of submissions, it's definitely something that we're going to look to reopen in a few months again, or, you know, six months down the line, because this is sadly a, an issue and a conflict that's not going to be going away anytime soon. So how do groups and organizations go about applying for this? Yeah, so uh, as simple as finding us on social media, Stenchies Monday Sausage, or easy enough, you go to stenchies.com. It's right on the banner, um, or you can go to our, our like blog area. It's there. You click on the banner on the homepage, and it gives you all the information. Essentially, what we're looking for, as I said, a one to two page document telling us about your organization, some of the things you've done in the past, what you are about. Um, a lot of these organizations that have helped the cause have only come about recently, and they're kind of ad hoc. And they don't have a long-standing foundation like some of the ones that were, you know, we've supported in the past. Other people like Canada, Canada Ukraine Foundation, you know, has been around for a long time. Um, so we just want to see what you've done in the past. And we want to know that you can potentially be able to execute whatever you're looking to do. And, you know, if you have a budget or something, attach that as well. So it's on our website, snitchies.com, on the banner. All you need to do is go there and then it gives you the instructions. It's it's really straightforward. Uh, we're not trying to make someone jump through a thousand hoops to to produce this we really just want you know to have enough faith in a group or an organization and to present them with this cash so they can go out into the world and do their good and Kyler what is the deadline to enter what have you set as the final date to accept these applications yes yeah, so we started January 20th um, the 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 final date of submissions that we'll be taking in is February 12th so we have about two weeks that people can still submit a one to two page document 
All right, Kyler. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. This is a great initiative, and we look forward to finding out who uh, the, the winner is in the end of all this, too. So please stay in touch and let us know who's going to take home the top prize. And once again, thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much. Have a good day.